Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to yet another weekend series. Today, we are looking at a recently released game, Card Shark. Which, I'll be honest, I don't really know what it's about. I know it's got something to do with cards, and that's about it. Uh, it did look intriguing based on the Steam Store page, though, so that is why we're playing it today. As always, like with any of these weekend series, this is kinda where our laboratory where we experiment, see what sort of series you guys want to see. And if you do like it, if you show your support, likes, comments, subscribing, telling your friends about it, and if uh, it seems a lot of you want to see more, then we will most likely do some more of it on a weekday slot. But anyways, that's enough on uh, channel. I was gonna say politics, that doesn't really make sense. Let's just play the game! This game includes profanity and depictions of suicide, death, violence, and gambling. It is not suitable for children. So get out of here, you kids! Okay. Card Shark is best experience with the gamepad. Hold on a second. Okay, just a slight bit of uh, driver updating later. We've got it, we're ready. Yeah. I choose difficulty. The gambler? The con artist. Join a high stakes world where only the elite will thrive. I don't know. There's also the, uh, this one, uh, where you enjoy the story without losing, I guess we'll go for the da gambler, it's in the middle. My dear player, it is with the utmost diligence that I must warn you against the hazards of this game. Ooh, looks like we get to pick a card, any card. How about X? Ooh, the king of spades, that's pretty good. It will teach you secrets that will turn you as easily into a beggar as into a king. The Nine of Clubs. It is based on the memoirs Sans Parole, a, a dangerous manuscript. I unearthed in my beloved Bokwiznitz <laughs> of uh, Nine Rue Blanche. Oh, the Queen of Diamonds. Be careful as you play through these fateful events and unravel the destiny of the Forgotten Queen. Already, I very much like the presentation here. For here lies the work of the Devil. Okay. It all began on a misty morning of 1743 near Pau in the south of France. Hi, lad! Come here! Huh? Hello? Ah. Did your majesty have a good nap? I can frown or smile? I'll smile. I don't give a tinker's damn. Patrons are coming to work now. Okay, okay, so I'm this dude. Oh, I very much like this art style. Very unique. Oh, I can hand something here. Come back here! Hey, I, you gotta give the people a good rubbing down on occasion. What are you doing fidgeting like a salmon about to meet the... This is because I'm... Uh, 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 the crow... Crowds? We, we don't have... Uh, arrows over our letters in English. This is gonna be difficult. Uh. If you're about to have one of your convulsions, then you'd best make sure my customers don't see it. Come on, lad. You need to earn your keep. Uh, okay, yeah. Just do your job! You lad, come. Bought me a drink. Sure. Ooh. Okay. Oh, not enough? Oops. <laughs> a bit more than that, please. I'm thirsty. That's... That should be good. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Expert drink pour. Many thanks, lad. Now why don't you keep me company? Take a seat. Sure thing. That chair is fine.
I couldn't help but notice your mistress is rather rough with you. Yes. Can't you speak? You can't? How fascinating. Indubitably linked to these seizures your mistress spoke of so fondly. The ancient Greeks believed people like you possessed prophetic abilities, you know. Really? Load of nonsense, if you ask me. Either way, you strike me as an intelligent fellow. Hmm. Would you like to earn some extra cash? Yes. That can only mean yes. Listen closely. Though there's money to be made, there's plenty more to lose. I'm going to play a game of cards tonight, and I'm going to win. Well, that's a spoiler. Thanks to you. But before I explain my plan, I have a question. Do you know what suits, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds are? Indeed. Good, on to the plan then. You'll serve us wine as we play and peek at my opponent's cards. Ah, we're, we're cheating, I see. Then you'll signal to me the best suit in his hand, whichever he has the most of. Okay. Gotcha, so in this case it reads spades. But how will you signal, hmm? I know. After serving the wine, you will take your cloth. And wipe the table in a particular pattern corresponding to that suit. That made sense, I hope. Yes. Good. Let's discuss the wiping patterns you can use as signals. For hearts, you will wipe in a clockwise circular motion. Hearts, clockwise, circular. Gotcha. Alright. If it is best suited to spades, then wipe in an anti-clockwise circular motion. Okay. If you see a majority of diamonds, wipe in a straight line up and down. And finally, if you need to signal clubs, wipe the table and side to side pattern. Excellent! You seem to be getting the hang of it. I've thrown a lot at you, I know. But should we try the next trick? Yes. Let's try having you peek over my shoulder as you pour me a fresh drink. When well, you've seen my hand, signal to me the best suits. Ready to give it a try? Okay, so I have pour. Okay, it is... Uh, diamonds. Diamonds is up and down. Well done, lad! It seems we have ourselves a plan! Okay, the bottle of... Ke... Kehors? Kehors. I take it you've had enough practice. Let's go. Wonderful! Meet me back here tonight, and we'll see about making some real money. Okay. Yeah, let's cheat at some cards. Where has he gone? The gentleman who was at this table. Uh, he didn't pay for his wine. I'll have to dock that from your wages. Later that day. I'm in luck tonight! You, on the other hand. You will probably die soon on the gallows or have the pox. It will depend on whether I embrace your principles or your mistress. <laughs> Be careful, sir. My apologies, I spoke in jest. Let me refill your cup. Ah. Let's go. Okay. How much do you want to bet? How about five livres? Okay. Performance anxiety. The reminder section is there if you need a refresher. Okay. Okay, we are looking at heart. Oh, ooh, too much. Whoops. Sorry. Oi, clean this mess up. What use are you if you can't even pour a drink? Oh, ooh. 
Wait, it was hearts, yeah? Okay. What? How did you do that? Just the luck of the draw, my good man. A drink and everything will be forgotten. Okay. Ooh, ten. Okay, let's not spill the drink this time. We are looking at... Spade? It's either... I think it's clubs. So for clubs... Was that the side to side? Yeah. Alrighty. Wipe that grin off your face. What sort of setback happens to everyone, my good friends? Only yesterday I lost a fortune. You know what I did? I had a drink! Allow me. Yeah, I think he... Our friend here is getting a bit obvious. Young man, fortune favors me. I think I deserve another drink before we keep playing. Would you be so kind as to refill my cup? Yes. Many thanks, lad. I'll say win. Win! Huh? You played the first rounds well, lad. Look to our opponent, and you can see he's starting to get suspicious. I see. I fear it won't be long before he's had enough. Damn, we've been scoopered! Hey, what are you two whispering about over there? NOBODY CHEATS ME! Oh! Well, that escalated quickly. That's unfortunate. Forgive me, lad. I got a little carried away. The law will be will soon be upon us. We need to go now. That odious fellow appears to have left his purse. How careless! The Comte, Chapter 1. Notwithstanding his boastings, his barefaced lies, and his ma manifold, eccentric manifold eccentricities, I thought him an astounding man, as he always, as he was always astonishing me. Giacomo Casanova on the Com Comte de Saint-Germain. Camp of the Cascaras, Argen, France. Reno, my friend, you hear that in the breeze. The rustle of the leaves and the murmur of the nearby brook. Yes, our good friend, the com, 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 comte, com, comte has come. Comte. What is this diversion? We will stop here for a while. Why? The gentleman who killed your patroness is Colonel Colonel Gabriel, commanding the Beyond Regiment. It won't be long until he accuses you of this murder. What? I'm afraid you make the perfect scapegoat. Your animosity with the deceased is well known. You are poor, young, and mute. And you fled the crime scene with a notorious thief. Me. But do not worry, we'll save you. This is the camp of the Cascarots. They are friends. They don't talk. And like all the other Romani in France, they fall between the cracks. They're invisible, a bit like you. Make yourself at all. I need to talk to the magician. Okay. 
Anyone else I can swindle? Hey. Okay. Grumble. Are you done making fit? Are you done making faces? Yes. Good for you, good for you. So you're the new pet of our dear Comte de Saint Germain. No, don't answer that. My name is Erinus. Erino Funes. Cheats and humble artist of the shadows. I took my fellow man for money and adventure. Would you like to learn magic? Yes. I thought you might say that. It's called Three Card Monte. During the Hundred Years' War, an English lord lost the entirety of his estate over this game. Which is a very English thing to do. Then he threw himself off the White Cliffs of Dover. Which is a very French thing to do. So follow closely. Do you see the Queen here? Yes. I'll put her here. Okay. Now follow the Queen closely. Show me the, where the queen is. I believe it's on the left. Magic, isn't it? It's a simple trick, really. All in the motion, the flow. I trust you understood all that. Why not show off what you've learned to the magician? Like what? Fine, there's a bit more to it than that. I was playing with you. I'll show you how it's done. Start by flipping the cards over. Okay. Good. Pick them all up and show them to me. Okay, so we got this one, we got this one, we got this one. Now for the important part, the secret that makes it work. You can either play fair and put the queen down, or cheat by putting down the card behind it. Stop, stop, stop. You're performing here, understand? That means everything has to have the right pace. Do fast and people won't want to bet. Do slow and they'll know you're a cheater. Keep the rhythm and let's try again. Start by flipping the cards over. Okay. Right now, for the important parts, the secret that makes it work. Okay. What do you choose? No, don't tell me. Now for the fun part. Mix them up. But be careful to keep a good rhythm. So it's a rhythm game. Alright, now take your time and swap two cards. Make it look deliberate. Time for me to choose. Very good! I didn't see, even see you cheat! I think you're ready now. Okay, we know the three card Monty. Okay, let's do this. McGregor is probably after you already. Well, it's not the uncertain hands of chance that has me in this dump. I'm glad you appreciate my hospitality. At least it smells better than Versailles. Come in, boy! I was waiting for you. Yes, come meet the magician. I will wait outside. Well, hello there. The Comte seems to think you have abilities. Trick me.
No, no, that was too obvious. Your timing needs improvements. Deceive me. Trick me. Okay. There we go. Magnificence. Time for me to show you a trick then. I'm going to teach you how to read an opponent's mind. I'll prove it to you now. In fact, I'm so confident in my abilities, I'll put 40 currency on the line. I'll take that as a yes. Pick a card, any card from the deck and place it on the top. Remember which one you choose. Yeah, Queen of Clubs. Good. The card you chose is now on the top. And you remember it? Queen of Clubs. Excellent. Now pick a number. Let's say between two and five. Three. Alright, now watch this. I'm going to shuffle the deck and then cut it. Abracadabra! I know where your card is in the deck. Remember the number you chose? Watch. One. Two. According to the number you picked, this next one should be your card. Is that your card? Yes. Good, because there's no way I'm parting with my coins over that. And relax, you owe me nothing. The Comte told me of your origins. I can see that look in your eye. It's always the same. You want to know how I did it? I'm going to explain since you showed such promise with three card monster. Alright, so I've chosen my card, the Ace of Diamonds, and placed it at the top of the deck. For the time being, let's keep it simple. I'll choose the number one. That means all we have to do is keep the ace at the top. Let's see what happens if we start shuffling. Okay. As we first start mixing the cards, we can keep an eye on the ace. But if we keep shuffling, we could lose track of it. Let's reset the deck and see what we can do differently. Start shuffling again, but only drop a clump of cards once. At this stage, we know the ace is at the top of the pile, in our bottom hand, but if we keep shuffling, we'll lose it. I suppose you're wondering how I kept track of your card when I shuffled and cut the deck before. You're right to look suspicious. The trick is to put a marker next to our card, so we can find it later, even after more shuffling. You do this by dropping one card onto the pile and offsetting it slightly. This is called in-jogging. Remember it well, boy. That's it! Now you can shuffle the rest without worrying about losing the ace. Great, we now know where the ace is. But we wanted it at the top, not somewhere else in the middle. So now what? That's where cutting comes in. Ah, we can feel for the injog marker with our fingers and cut the deck at that point. The next card down was our ace, remember? So when we recombine the piles, it'll be back at the top of the deck. But why trust me? Let's allow the cards to do the talking. Voila, as if by magic, the Ace of Diamonds back at the top of the deck. Let's see if you understood that. Try shuffling and cutting. Make sure the Ace gets back to at the top at the end. Okay. Now we do our injog. Let's see if you got it right. That looks like the Ace of Diamonds to me. Well done. Would you like to practice it again? Let's move on. No? Alright. Let's take this trick up a gear then. Think about what we've learned already. By the end of this trick, we wanted the Ace at the top of the deck. And sure enough, we dealt out some cards and the Ace came out first. 
But the real trick is a bit more impressive. You'll let someone else choose the ace's position. You see, boy, giving your target the feeling that they are in power is key to pulling the rug out from underneath their feet. So with that in mind, imagine I'm your mark and I've chosen the number four. You need to offset the ace with three other cards. Yeah, that means when you deal the ace won't be the first, but the fourth. I'll teach you how to add these offsetting cards once you shuffle. Let's start as we did before. Shuffle some cards down once just like earlier. Okay. Good, now before in jogging we need to offset the ace to the correct position. Drop three more cards one at a time. One, two, three. Great, now create yourself a marker by in jogging a card. And all that's left to do is shuffle the remaining cards down and then cut. Okay. That'll look right to me. Let's see, shall we? One. Two. Three. And. There's the Ace of Diamonds. That's the fourth card, just as planned. Impressive work. Now, before you go running off trying to impress everyone with your newfound wizardry, heed some advice. There's nothing more embarrassing than messing up a magic trick. So keep practicing. Now, remember, I get to choose where I want my card to. And neither me nor anyone you show this to will pick the number four just because you learned it. So pay attention to which number is picked and only offset the card that far. Number five, your special today, I'll choose that. Okay, so we go down one. And we need... So if it's five, we need one, two, three, four cards between. Then we put our in our injog. And then we shuffle the rest. Time to check. The Ace of Diamonds, exactly what I, where I asked for it. Well done. Would you like to practice it again? Nah, no, it seems pretty uh, self-explanatory. Very well, you seem to know what you're doing. You are a quick study, the, com the Comte has done well. Off we go.